Today I'm going to show you how to install a hard drive into an external enclosure. So for this you're going to need an enclosure. I have two styles here. I'll, show, I'll be showing you both. Here's a bare hard drive right here. And this one is an older enclosure that I've had for many years now. This one here is a newer enclosure you won't know which kind you're getting when you buy one. This particular one is no longer available. This one here is at the time of this recording and I will put a link in the description for um, this particular enclosure if you wanted to get it. So we're going to start with this one here and we need to get into it. Plastic front doesn't want to come off we have six screws on the back and they're Phillips so this is real easy you just get a Phillips screwdriver right not quite you have to get the right type here is a bit that has two different size Phillips uh, drivers over here is the one that you're probably most familiar with that's called a number two Phillips on the flip side is a smaller one called a number one Phillips and you have to use the right screwdriver for the right application. Oftentimes you'll find that the number two will fit a number one screw, but it doesn't really because as soon as you start putting torque on there, it's going to slip out and possibly strip it. And for delicate work like this, you don't want to. So here's the number two. That doesn't even want to fit these screws. Number one will fit it, and I have a handle for this, but I don't think it's actually going to be necessary. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all of these six screws out on this particular enclosure. There is a drive in this enclosure now that I'm going to be replacing. There's a two terabyte drive in it right now that is going to be replaced with a four terabyte drive as soon as I get this thing open. Okay, so this one kind of wants to sort of fall apart on us, but if we tip it, the entire sled comes out. So we want to keep these in the same orientation it was just in, like that. Okay, now we have larger screws. Now, the number one is going to fit that, but I don't know if you can see and maybe here kind of a sloppy fit but the number two much better so I'm gonna put the handle on the screwdriver now and take out these screws there are four of them two on each side All four are out, and now we have to take the drive out. This one sort of, it's a little wonky the way it works. You gotta, gotta like push it down and then slide it out and get it out of that enclosure like that. This is a SATA enclosure. There's the connector right there. And we're gonna install the new drive in exactly the same way. So we keep everything in the same orientation so we know that the connector is facing that way and the label is up. Here is the new drive which is four terabytes and this is going to go in the same way label on top connector on the back and we're going to sort of slide it back in and work it back on to that connector. So you just have to play with it like I said this one is a little bit fiddly as far as getting that in and there we are right there. So now that that's in, I can set that aside and put the screws back in over here. So this is now exactly the same as we just did, but in reverse.
Okay, now we're ready to reinstall the sled back into the enclosure. It's just a matter of fitting it in. There we are. Let me slide that all the way home like that. And then when I put the plate on, you'll see all of the ports will line up on the back. So now it's time to put these little screws back in. So I want you to see that I started four of the screws, one, two, three, four, and I have two left here to put in. And that's because on this enclosure, these have different threads than this. So if you try to put that one in, it's just going to keep screwing and never get tight. That's how you know if you don't pay attention. Anyway, we'll tighten these down. now. Because this is kind of a, a plate and it's a little wonky back and forth, it's a good idea to start all of the screws first and not screw one all the way down, then start on the next one, etc. So now we're going to go ahead and tighten these all the way down. Notice I'm not using the handle once again because these are tiny screws and they do not need a lot of torque. I flipped it over so I could do the opposite one in an X pattern. That's not always necessary, but it's good practice. Flip it again. And put this one in. And one more time for the fourth screw. Now we have to put the other two back in. These bite into plastic. So loose once again. This one, because there's only two, we can just tighten down. And this one is all done. Now we'll move on to this one. Let me get the screws and other associated uh, things that we'll need for it. So here is the second one. And the way this works, I'll just set that aside. This just pulls apart. Nothing holds it until you get the drive in. They've covered the circuitry in this, but you see the connector right there. So all we do is take the drive. There's the connector. Go like that. So we put it in the sled until it clicks in just like that. Now the way this one is designed, if I put these side by side, you see how these holes line up. So we need to put screws here first, then slide it in, and then, well actually it goes, I'm sorry, excuse me, it goes this way. So these holes line up. And these do not. So here are the screws. These should be a number one perfect fit. So we're going to put these two screws in. Just loose. And as long as these holes are lined up, which they are, I can go ahead and tighten these down. And they don't have to be super tight. Small screws don't require a lot of torque. Now that we have that in, take the whole thing as a unit. Now that it's mounted up, slide it home. And now those two screws line up. So we go ahead and put these two in. And tighten them down. That's it. This one actually came with a little holder thing if you wanted to do that. It's not stable, stable, but it, it works. This is a very basic enclosure. This one, like I said, is available at the time of this recording on Amazon. And I will put a link to that. I'll also put a link to the 4 gigabyte drive that I installed in the other enclosure there. And that's it. So 
depending on the type of enclosure you get, and you won't know which is, you know, how they're going to go together until you buy it, it's pretty simple of an operation. You just look, see where everything lines up. You might make mistakes like I did before. You saw I had it backwards, but I quickly figured that out. It's a very simple puzzle, like a jigsaw puzzle with, oh, six or eight pieces. Really no big deal. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Say, if it helped you out, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. That lets me know I did a good job making this video, and I can continue to provide them for you. Have a great day.